Hey guys, it's just going to become a skull and something awesome happened. I wanted to wait to talk about it until I came back from uh, when I came back from Comic Con, but I had just such an amazing time. Um, we did a lot of stuff. We went everywhere. Well, you didn't go everywhere, but we saw a lot of amazing people. We saw. We. Um, oh, God. There are so many things that happened. When Rune and I, when we went to Comic Con, at the start it was like there was a long line. When we went through everyone, we locked, we walked by a lot of people and everything. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, we walked by a lot of people and everything, and we saw like a lot of great cosplayers, better than what we looked like. I was in a cosplay named Hidan. Uh, from Naruto and then Rune uh, ended up becoming Roxas from Kingdom Hearts and his organization 13 outfit, which was pretty funny um, And Rune did bleach his hair, so he looks a lot different from what he used to but it was incredible. We got to see LA which was absolutely insane. I did not expect any of that to happen. I don't really know Allier that much. I've watched his old videos a long time ago in the past. Um, and I've seen him play with Syndicate. And I'm a huge fan of Syndicate. So I, I wish he was there, but I don't know. And then I got a picture with him. Uh, it was... It was awesome. Like, that was absolutely my first time meeting a YouTuber. He was very chill. It was awesome seeing him. I didn't say hi to him later, but um, when we were walking around Times Square in New York, he, him and his girlfriend walked by us, and I was like, what? wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, that is just absolutely insane. I... That was my first time meeting a YouTuber, and he was a very nice person to me and everything but my main reason going to comic-con was seeing the Arthur for Naruto Masashi Kishimoto as my phone goes crazy um, meeting Masashi Kishimoto well I didn't meet him but going to his panel on Thursday uh, that was the only day I can go to so it was sad that I couldn't um, get an, uh, like an, a signing or anything from him but um, he's an absolutely nice guy he's been like he's always saying like I did not expect any of this to happen he did like a drawing uh, live and everything he drew Naruto and Jiraiya and then oh my gosh it was absolutely insane seeing him because I never expected any of this to happen and we missed a school day for it which kind of screwed up uh, myself but uh, it was okay because I was able to catch up and everything but it was just like being able to see the Arthur I've been into for about like eight to nine years. I've been into his story. I finished it and absolutely insane. Like I did not expect that to happen. I wish I could have seen the Boruto movie reveal, but hey, you can't really get what you want. But we've seen like a lot of nice people. We've seen um, some manga people that starts up. Um, I can show their stuff. On the, um, the panel, they said they were giving out, like, um, well, they weren't giving out, but you could pay for the books, and there's a story behind it. So, there was a booth that I didn't know any really clue about it, so I was like, okay, and then I saw on their, like, walking by the booth. I didn't go to the booth because it's a long line, and we wanted to explore around a little bit. We should have went there, but... We went to the booth um, after the panel because before the panel it said we have a limited edition volume 72 book you can get um, and I was like oh my gosh I need that I really need that and it's like the last volume limited edition New York Comic Con edition and I was like oh I'm really excited to get that so after the panel we went over uh, we went over to the panel and they said sorry but we're on the books are not available anymore so, dang it so I went over to the person that told that that said that to us again and I asked him is there any way to um, get the book like order it from you guys or um, is there a books is there a store nearby that I can go to to get the book 
They said there's a Barnes and Noble that's like five blocks away that we can go to and we can get the book. And I was like, we're going there. So we went there and I got the limited edition Naruto volume 72. It is crazy. Like this, I got like two copies for my friend because he was not able to come up here. Jack Cooper, if you know him. Um, and in this book, it's like at the end it has a um, Mr. Kishimoto talking with uh, the director of Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man, Avi Arid. I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, but um, it was pretty cool reading that and like explaining how their stories were actually kind of related and everything, which is really cool. And this is how you know it's like limited edition. It's New York Comic Con exclusive edition. The final volume. Oh, right there. That's really cool. And okay, we got um this, which was um what we got as a magazine for like before we got into the room and get this poster in it as well. That has um the behind poster that has like Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura when they met in the final battle. And it also has like the first few chapters of Boruto Mang uh, the Boruto series. It's really cool. Um, the manga, the comic creators, I'm gonna keep this in here. I'm gonna read it though, I still haven't read it yet. But um, the wild, the wild one, I think it is. The wild, the wild ink, sorry, I'm sorry. But um, these guys are really cool. They signed the, the book as well. I'm gonna take it out only a little bit. Um, and yeah, their art style is amazing. Um, they also signed the book too, which is very nice. They all signed it. They were a starting up group that wanted to get their story out there and they had their own booth. I don't know how much it costs for them to be able to just like handle all of that. But um, yeah, there's a person drawing live there as well. And they also give us a card, which I have somewhere. It's in my wallet, I think. But um, I can leave a link in the description below for you guys to check them out because it's actually this is actually pretty cool. And if they ever get big, this is like their first work that they finished. So I, I best wishes for those guys. Um, but uh, I also got. I'll be right back. I got a poster of Tokyo Ghoul, which I thought was pretty amazing. Um, it's pretty insane. It was really cool. It was when he was kind of going crazy and everything in the anime, if you watch it. Then I also got this Natsuki sweater, uh, Itachi, uh, from parking here. And um, with the cloud logo on the back, really cool. Got that. It's awesome. So the whole experience there was absolutely insane. It was my first like convention that I've ever been to, and um, there were other you there was a few other YouTubers that were in it that were into anime stuff that I watch that I was not able to meet. Um, but it was absolutely incredible seeing all kinds of people there. Just like, oh, I'm this is what they do, and. It was crazy. So many people. It took like an hour for us just to get food. Like we get to get pizza and everything, which is pretty funny. Um, and we waited in line for the Masashi Kishimoto uh, panel um, like two hours before. So we we're there at three instead of at four. Because when it four when at time like four came, um, there was loads of people coming in and everything, and it was harder for everyone to get a seat. But uh, we met a lot of cool people. We met people that were heading out, handing out like Quizlet things for his survey thing that he's doing for his school and stuff like that. So we met a lot of amazing people. Um, I wish I could have been there for the other two, for the other days so I can be able to um, like get a, something signed for Masashi Kishimoto and to be able to see the Boruto op um, when it's first released in the U.S. Um, everyone was super excited in the panel when they saw like the trailer and everything. I just 
it was probably one of the best experiences that I've ever had for a long time. And um, it was absolutely insane with the things we saw. We also saw like a weird Iron Man thing walking around, just chilling around. It was pretty cool. Yeah. But I'm back to making videos. Um, I'm super happy. And I'm happy to be able to. Sorry, I was looking at time. I was able to like experience all of this and share it with you guys. Cause yeah, it's absolutely insane. I never thought I would be able to meet Masashi Kishimoto. I would have like flown to Japan trying to meet him. But thank you guys very much for watching. See you in the next one. All right. Goodbye.